Hello everyone. Happy Sunday. Depending on if you're seeing this on a Sunday, I'll just say good evening. But I have three of the babies here. My babies that you haven't seen in a while. Um, the only one you did recently see, I did change Mila back here and she's still in her same outfit. Um, Jada, you might have seen her in the nursery. Sometimes she's sitting in the bounty seat beside me when I do a video. So you probably, probably seen her. Charlie, you haven't seen for, I'm thinking at least a month, at least, maybe longer. <laughs> so I wanted to do a video with these three babies this evening, all three of them, just to share my reborn collection presently currently who's in my vinyl reborn collection and as you can see these are the only three babies i have left in my vinyl reborn collection presently that i actually will do videos with from time to time and all of you have seen them from time to time on my videos um I don't do as many videos with my Vinyl Reborns, if you notice, if you watch my channel a lot, as I do with my silicone dolls. And it's always been that way since I started collecting silicone dolls, you know, from the beginning of my collecting, I've always did more videos with my silicones than my Vinyl Reborns. And I guess that could be because I prefer my silicone dolls over my vinyl reborns. At one point, I questioned that last year when I got Monet, for those that was watching my channel at the time, I just fell so in love with Monet, my Matilda by Joanna Kazmerzak when I got her last March. Um of 2018 I fell in love with that doll and it actually made me question did, did I need any more full body silicones in my collection that's how much I loved Monet my vinyl reborn but as the year went on eventually Layla came home my full body silicone by Claire Taylor my Denia and I just fell head over heels in love with my Layla Denia you guys know that that watch my channel um for those who are not familiar with my channel and you could be watching for the first time the video i did yesterday on saturday has all three of my full body silicones in that video that i currently have and now this is my three uh, vinyl reborns in my collection that i currently have so this is basically updating you guys on where I am right now with my collecting and who's in my collection at the moment. Um, so in the meantime, I'm going to be changing Charlie into this little knitted outfit. It's a one piece footed romper with um, buttons in the crotch area. And this is tiny baby size. And it um, is by Mother Care. And it's like this pretty pale light blue stripes with white and a taupe beige color star in the middle on the chest and then it's all trimmed with the same taupe beige color the whole outfit and then underneath there's a long sleeve little white shirt i don't know if it's a shirt or a onesie okay it's a long sleeve white onesie underneath and it's trimmed in the same pale light blue so it's a two-piece set. So I'm going to be putting him in this while I talk. And then I have these little cream-colored, beautiful, handmade, knitted booties with the hat. It has pretty satin cream-colored ribbons on them going through the booties and also to tie the little bonnet. And I ordered this again from Angels to Treasure. You'll hear me mentioning her name a lot. She's Angels to Treasure on YouTube and Instagram, and she's in the UK, and I order from her a lot. She's another mommy. She's not a store or anything. She doesn't have a shop right now or anything like that, but she does from time to time have sales on Instagram. So I'm going to put that with this because for some reason, this is Chase by Bonnie Brown, for those who don't know, and I call him Charlie. Um, this kit is just so newborn to me. 
And I like him without shoes for the most part. I prefer him with socks or booties. Um, I was going to actually buy him shoes, but then I found that I prefer him more newborn looking without shoes. So he's going to get these booties on with this outfit. I'm going to change his diaper. So anyway, I wanted to just come and share who is left in my reborn collection at the present moment? Um, I have let go a few of my vinyl reborns. Some of those that you guys really, some of you loved. Those that I have chosen to let go of. Um, over the past year, as I was saying, all of a sudden, my gears shift, shifted again with my collection. And when Layla came home, I just fell so in love with Layla, my full body silicone by Claire Taylor, that all of a sudden then, um, I wasn't as interested in my vinyl reborns again. So it's like with this doll collecting, as I was saying in a previous video during the week, you just kind of keep changing your mind back and forth it's like from one minute to the next you're not you don't know what you actually prefer you can just shift gears all of a sudden and so far he's still bald i have not decided as far as i'm going if i'm going to root him or not i really love this baby's head the painting um, the detail of the sculpting of his head is just the sculpting on his head is like so realistic the way it looks that you don't even want to cover it with hair type of thing. So that is why I'm not sure if I want him to have hair or not. Then also the way he's painted. I love his details, all of his mottling and his coloring and everything and all of the veining he has. Um, So that's why I'm like undecided as to do I want him to have hair or not I have the hair and everything but just not sure what I want to do at this point so I haven't done anything he is still my little baldy Charlie I love his head and so this onesie fits him so like perfectly and like I said it's mother care tiny baby size so anyway as I shifted gears back to really preferring my full body silicones, then I noticed that when I do videos and everything, I more want to do my videos with my full body silicones at the moment. I'm just really enjoying them at the moment. Um, for a while, I only had Layla. And now I have three again. I have Layla, Gabriel, and um, Mackenzie, the newest baby that came home this week, earlier in the week. Um, so it's like you guys might not see my Vinyl Reborns as often, but they I still will have Vinyl Reborns in my collection, definitely. Um, I don't think I would like ever just only have silicone dolls. Um, because I do like my vinyl reborns also, and sometimes I am in the mood for them. Um, especially if it's ones that I really like, like these three right here that I have chosen to keep in my collection as my vinyl reborn collection has really dwindled down at the moment. Um, in the past month, I have let go of three of my very special vinyl reborns i had noah which was real born dominic he's went to a new mommy and she really loves him it was somebody that was watching my channel she's a subscriber so noah was lucky enough to go to a mommy that really adored him so i'm happy he went to someone that loved him even before she got him so that worked out um, but she doesn't do videos. And I think he was going to be her first um, Vinyl Reborn. So definitely, I would say for a first Vinyl Reborn, Noah was definitely like 
definitely a prize um because that was one beautiful baby i had and then also monet left as i was just talking about monet matilda by joanna kazmazak she was absolutely beautiful as well love my little monet she went to a mommy also that is subscribed to my channel and was you know really love monet so I was lucky enough for them to go to mommies that already love them. And that kind of made the whole thing easier to let them go. Um, and then Soya by Emily Jameson also went to a new mommy. And I had had Soya for like four years. Like he was the, the one vinyl reborn that I first fell in love with when I first started collecting five years ago. I had had him for four years. And so he was the longest reborn in my collection. Like he stayed in my nursery the longest. So finally I decided to sell him and he has finally went to a new mommy. And again, she already loved him as well. She, she actually has a YouTube channel and I can't think of it right now. I may put it in the bottom under the, under the video in the description. I'll look up her channel. I know her name is Tracy, but I can't remember if her channel is Tracy's Reborns or something to that effect. I'm going to look it up. But she loved my Soya, she told me. And she had been watching my Soya. He looks so adorable in this. Um, she had been watching my Soya on my channel for a long time, she said. And just loved him. And so I had Soya on, on eBay. And she happened to see him. But did not know it was my Soya. <laughs> That's the funny thing about it. She didn't know it was my Soya. She just said it kind of reminded her of my Soya. She said it looked like my Soya. But she didn't really know that. So she didn't figure out it was my Soya. Until... I think when she won the auction and everything and I had messaged her and all of that. And then she put two and two together and figured out it was my Sawyer she was getting. And she's like, she was so starstruck when she found out it was my Sawyer. I like him without his pacifier. So now we're going to change Miss Jada here. She is Gabby Gale by Claire Taylor Dolls, the kid. Okay, we're back. So it's a storm here in Georgia, just in case any of you are watching. Currently watching the weather, I'm doing a video in a, in the middle of like tornado watches and warnings in the area. <laughs> that tells you how badly I was determined to do this video. So my phone cut off because you know how you get those alerts. So that's what happened. So we're going to see how far we can get with this video. Hopefully I can finish it. So as I was saying, this is Gabby Gale. She was reborn by me. I painted her and rooted her curly hair. Um, When did I do this doll? Like last spring. So it's almost a year, I'm thinking. Like last April, I'm thinking I finished this doll. Or March, something like that. It might have been after April. Somewhere around April or May, I did this little one. So anyway, we're going to dress her now. Um, and so also, two of the dolls in my Reborn collection are actually dolls that I painted. The only one that's from an artist is Charlie here in the middle, Chase by Bonnie Brown. He's actually done by an artist. Um... Jada and Mila back here were all both reborn by me, painted and rooted by me. So he is my one and only right now, like artist painted, reborn, uh, vinyl reborn. And I don't know, it might be like that for a while where I'm painting my own dolls because I'm still learning um, and practicing. And like right now I have two dolls that I'm working on. One is my Levi and the other is, well, Levi by Bonnie Brown. And then the other one is my Devin by Lorna Miller Sands. Those two I will be adding into my collection when I'm finished with them. So they will also be done by me. Um, 
definitely Levi I'm keeping. I'm kind of not sure about the Devin right now. If I'm going to keep him or sell him. Because I don't want my collection that big either. That is something else I discovered. I do not like a big collection. Which I've known that for a while. So I'll have a good amount of dolls for a while. And then I notice I always begin to let go of them little by little. And only certain ones I will keep. So at this point since I'm painting my own. It could be where I have mostly my own dolls in my collection done by me and maybe not many artist dolls, you know, reborn by actual artists. I don't know. We'll see how that works out going forward with my collecting. Because um, sometimes I do like artist dolls and I want them too and then I end up getting them. Then at the same time I'm painting my own dolls and then I end up with too many dolls and then I end up selling dolls. So we'll see how that all works out. Like right now I see a doll that I want on eBay that's the auction ends today. And I want that doll so bad. It's a vinyl reborn. It's so pretty. But I'm like, I don't need to buy any more dolls because I just sold a bunch of dolls to downsize my collection. And right now I'm mostly enjoying my silicone dolls. So I really don't need to go buy another Vinyl Reborn. It wouldn't make sense to have it. And then it's just sitting. Like right now I'm trying to figure out a schedule to fit my Vinyl Reborns in a little more often with changing them. So not, you know, so that they're not just sitting. So that is why today I said today is going to be Vinyl Reborn Day <laughs> where I'm spending the day with them, changing them, doing a video with them, taking pictures of them. Um, and three of them is a nice small number until, of course, Levi gets done. I know I'm going to love that Levi. That's like one of my other favorite kits right now. As far as Reborn, so he will be definitely included. And like I said, Devin, I'm on the fence with. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him or not. I'll see by the time I finish him what's going to happen with him. But anyway, as I was saying before the camera cut off, this little girl, before I go on, is wearing a little sweater set with little tights. I love baby girls in tights, as I said. <laughs> And this baby has such pretty fat legs. I love this kit. This is also one of my favorite kits. And she's my biggest baby right now. Because normally I like newborn size babies. So definitely she's my biggest um, baby that I've collected so far. And so that's why I definitely wanted to keep her. She's my biggest girl. Um, and she's done by me and I really wanted this kit in my collection a Gabby Gale for the longest so I couldn't let go of her now who knows if I ever paint another one if I get the chance I don't even know if there's any more of her kit at this point but maybe I would keep the next one if I did another one because I would not keep two I'm just that way I don't think I would keep two of them as much as I like twinsies I don't think I want to Unless it's the open eye one. It'd have to be something different about it for me to have two. And right now, my daughter, I reborn the open eye Gabby Gale for my daughter. So she has the open eye one. So actually, I do have two of them because my daughter mostly keeps hers in the nursery. Unless she's playing with her, then she'll come get her. So it would have to be something about it for me to go get an open eye one. Something different. Because I kind of like my nursery too where my dolls all have their own little space and it's not crowded. So I'm loving having less dolls right now at the moment. And I had a headband for this baby and I don't see it. Here it is. So anyway, getting back to my story with Soya. Soya was Soya by Emily Jameson. And I called him Soya Michael. And as I was saying, the new mommy didn't realize when she was bidding on him that he was my Soya. And that it was the one that she had been watching on my channel for a long time, she said. 
and she just really loved him and she was just so happy that she was actually able to finally get Soya and it was the one she had originally fell in love with which was my Soya. So she said she was starstruck. She couldn't believe that it was my Soya that she had won in the auction. And I was like so flattered because she used the term starstruck because I don't consider myself like anything really other than a channel or a small channel on YouTube. So I was really flattered by that. But I'm happy he went to her because she also loved that doll before she ever even got him. So I was so lucky with all of my special little babies that they actually went to mommies that already had like a, a connection with them. So with that being said, those babies left the nursery, Monet, Soya, and who else? I just said their names in that fast that I hear that thunder and it made me forget my thought. Monet, Soya, and Noah all went to new homes. And now these three are left. And I'll bring little Miss Mila up here. Little teeny Miss Mila. She is the little treasure by Laurel Lee Eagles. And she's also reborn by me. Painted and rooted. And I think she's my tiniest baby. In my collection and I love her size she's the littlest this is the biggest and that includes all of my babies at the moment the vinyl reborns and the silicone she's the smallest and this little one well big one she's the biggest so anyway guys that's my story at the moment my collection has definitely gotten smaller it has downsized and that's her hair I also, as I said, rooted her and painted her. And there they all are. So at the moment, I present, presently have six babies in my entire collection. At the moment. So that is them. I guess I'll end the video over here. And I probably left out something, but I'll remember after I get off camera, of course. So anyway, that's our Sunday video with these three. And we'll see you again soon. Let me go check on the weather with this tornado warning at the moment. So thanks for watching, guys.